Hey, good morning, you guys. Did you enjoy day two? Hey, brother. <laughs> hey. It, I, listen, the five guys we walked away, if you told me 24 hours before the draft, these would be the five guys, first of all, I, I would think you were smoking something. How the hell did the running back fall to us? But once again, I... I very impressed with what Joe D did over the two days. My only Absolutely. question, Kev, my only question, and I don't know what, I know who the teams were before us in round two. I just don't know if the Jets needed to trade it up. I well, you don't think he would have felt to us. Listen, I watched their press conference this morning. Okay. Their, their, their post last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And they were asked that same question. And they said they had information that somebody ahead of them was going to take this kid. So that's why they moved up. Really? Because I'm trying to think they traded. All right. So they picked. Where did they pick? Was that the they, they, they asked him, why did you move up from 38 yeah. to 36? Yeah. And he said, because we had information that he was going to be gone by 38. So that's why we figured we'd move up a couple so of spots. Did they hear that? Houston was interested, or was someone going to jump up? Yeah, the, the, who, yeah. Who knows? He didn't. He didn't get specific. I, I, I don't want to. Like, I know it's rude to, but I want to kind of look to see when the, after he was picked, Br Brees Hall. When did the next running back come off the board? I don't think it was till later in the draft. So a team would well, have really had to. But I also heard last night that the gap between Hall. And the rest of the running backs was huge. Ridiculous. It, it probably right, Ken. Like when you see what this kid did, I'm gonna punch up his numbers. Listen, 1472 yards last year and 20 yeah. TDs. Yeah. He cat I, I, I watched a lot of stuff this morning. Okay. For the last two seasons at, at Iowa State, he pretty much carried the team. Yeah, I mean, look at this. For a true freshman, Kev, he finished with 897 rushing yards and nine touchdowns while also catching 23 passes for 252 yards as a true freshman. Hmm. As a true freshman. You don't get better than that. Almost, almost kind of Curtis Martin-ish. Yeah, but then look. But this is what I like. This is another kid. Like we talked about the receiver yesterday and how his numbers got better year to year. So in his sophomore year, Hall rushed for over a hundred yards in eight straight games. He led. He led the league in rushing with a uh, thousand uh, five hundred and seventy-two yards on two hundred and seventy-nine carries, twenty-one rushing touchdowns, Kevin. Also catching 23 passes for 180 yards and two TDs. And I mean, as much as I like Mark uh, Michael Carter, how do you pass on a guy like that? No, you can't. And, and the fact is that they're going to be playing off of each other, almost like a thunder and lightning. Yeah, they, they said like here. a two-headed two -headed monster. Yeah. yeah. His junior year, he finished with um, 1,472 rushing yards, yep. 302 receiving yards. And 23 and, total touchdowns. Can that, you that's imagine? Incredible. Incredible. Like you can't pass this kid up. You can't pass this kid up. That's just. No. no, don't get me wrong, Kevin. I don't have anything against the kid. I just thought there might have been other pressing needs, like another old lineman deeper to get more depth, uh, another defensive end to get more depth, defensive line, something like that. Mm -hmm. But you jo can't knock. Joe D also said that they tried to move back up into the first round to get him. I saw that last night. I saw so that last night. You potentially, we potentially could have had four first round picks. I know. I know. Now, the one thing I did hear from Joe D today was about today, because they asked him with the picks, you only have round four. You have 111 and 117. And 17, yeah. So yep. Joe D said, don't be surprised if he trades down for more picks. Or tries to trade for future picks. Yeah, he said, I heard him say he was looking for a 2023. Wow. So, wow. Yeah, we'll see what happens. And, and again, Kevin, I said it after yesterday. I said it to you on yesterday's show. If we didn't have another pick in the draft, 
I'd That'd be, be fine with what we did. And now seeing what we did last night, and we'll get into Jeremy Rucker, the local kid next. I, again, I'm almost like other, other, and I hate to say this out loud, but I'm going to do it anyway. Are the cards lining up for us? I know, I know, but what kind of show would it be if I don't say what's going <laughs> on my mind? Are the cards lining up for us? Like you, again, if I told you Wednesday night, we're going to walk away with these five dudes, you'd be like, bro. You're, you're, you're yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sell me what you're smoking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on now. I mean, and, and you know, if you don't know anything about Ohio State, and don't, I, I don't know much about it. I'm not the biggest Ohio State guy. They don't feature the tight end. This kid, the fact that he got some of the numbers he got for the four years there for a school that doesn't feature the tight end, to me, was pretty impressive. But I know he's known as a great blocker, and that's is a, he's a badass blocker. I mean, you hey, it's, it, it's like an it's like another offensive line. Yes, right? yes, and I the highlights that they showed last night. The first name that popped up to him when really seeing the, the young man's size and strength and how he caught the ball and ran was um I just said his name earlier. Why, why am I Gronk? drawing blank? Gronk? Gronk, yeah. 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 yeah, that's the first thing I thought about when I saw him catching and running in his size. And I was like, wow, 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 wow. It, it's, I almost feel like, I om- and this is going to sound so stupid because we don't know how everything's going to pan out. But I almost feel like for a change, we have a wealth of riches. And I guess I'm not used to it. Like, I'm like, I'm almost like, Oh, well, I, what about the other teams? I've, I've said, I've high. said, I've said to a few people, I can't remember the last time we had a draft like this. I can't remember. No, I mean, I, the only thing I can think came close was Mangold and, and the brick. Yeah. It, you know, in the first round, but I, I or, or, or the year that Parcells got in the first round, was it Pennington? The tight end and Jonathan Abraham, I believe mm-hmm, that was. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't. And how, the, yeah. and how long ago was that? Yeah. So. Yeah. No, I know. Listen, I'm going to say it right here on the show. Again, egg on my face. It's not that I didn't like JD. I thought we were praising him a little too early, but in 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 season three, but full season two. The man is a GM. The man knows what he's Finally. doing. Finally. What? Yes. Again, yes. La- yesterday, talking to my brother, we both said, I think we finally got a GM that, yeah, doesn't, and, that doesn't have his head in his ass. And Kevin, as, as, a, as an older Jet fan, I've seen enough nonsense that it takes me a little while to believe. Well, yeah, of course. Hey, the Jet fan is the pessimist. And, yeah. and can you and can you can you blame him or her? No, so. I don't. But I'm also hearing lately, like a lot of my, I, I met a lot of new Jet friends being on social media. They're much more optimistic than me to the point where I don't even want to respond because I'm going to sound like the negative Jet fan. So I don't even <laughs> respond to them because I don't want to be that. Yeah, guy. but 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 you you might not have. They might not have experienced as much pain as. No, I can't, but there are a couple that are in our age group, and you can tell they they know what they're talking about. They lived it all. I'm just so like, I always feel like, when is the rug going to get pulled out from under us? Yeah, when is the shoe going to drop? Exactly. Right. Now, don't get me wrong. We haven't played a game in in, in 2022 yet. We still have to see what these players turn out. But when, when you look at what we brought home in the last 24 to 36 hours, whatever it's been, all you could say is, wow, suit up now. Let's go. Let's have, go. There is no question you have gotten better. My, oh, my. I, I, I can't get off. I mean, this is brief. So let's just and talk. To- you, you, di- you didn't just pick a couple of guys. You, you picked, picked studs. Yes. You picked football, but I mean, this is just, I mean, we already gave the numbers on Brees, but let's just talk about some of his accolades over a three-year period. He was a unanimous All-American in 2020, consensus All-American in 2021, two-time Big 12 Offensive Player of the Year in 2021, two-time first-team All-Big 12 2021, 
Second team, all big 12, 2019. He was a starting running back again. And I can't say this enough because it was the same with, I believe, Ahmad and, um, and um, our, 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 um, Garrett Wilson, mm -hmm. true freshman. These, these guys started as true freshmen. I don't know what I did with my notes, but wow, 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 wow. We're getting class act guys, mm -hmm. good football guys, good character guys, guys who want to play. Well, again, I don't, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, how can you not be, how can, how can you not be fired up? And, and ready and ready for the season to start already. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, again, did you? I, I, I mentioned it to you. Did you see the picture of 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 Ruckert? Yeah. Was a when he was a little kid with the jet uniform yep. on yep. and everything. And, and yep. oh man, it's pretty cool. And and now look at where you are. Yeah. He might turn out to be. Just like Wayne Crevette, that local kid, you know, I believe it's he's pretty, from Lyndon. It's a pretty cool story, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, again, wow, I'm just floored with everything the Jets could listen. I'm sure we could have had somebody else come on today and give us little tidbits and more X's and O's. This is not the show we do. Mm -hmm. You, you watched, the, I was watching the film on this Brees Hall, and all I kept thinking about. Wow, to have him wow. and Michael Carter in that backfield. And did you see? I was watching a lot of film. Did you see the spinning? And the yes. it, it's just insane. Yeah. And Kevin, I'm not into video games. I know nothing about them. I, I don't pretend to act like I know it, but I almost felt like I was watching one of those Madden yes. games, like yes. spinning and boop, boop, yes. boop. And all, just so and impressive. Then, and all of a sudden, he, he, he bounces off of a few people and he breaks yeah. away from everybody and he's gone. Yeah, like to have him and Carter in the back. I, I Again, I know this is going to sound stupid. I almost feel like we have an abundance of riches that I almost feel bad for everyone else. I know that sounds <laughs> yeah. stupid. Listen, I know. listen, I don't feel bad for him. No, I, I know, I know. And listen, I know other teams have great plays. That's not what I'm trying to say. I guess as a Jet fan, I'm just not used to this. I'm like, I wish I was 15 again so I could be alive for another 50 years and experience. Like, I just feel, and again, maybe I got to take the rose colored glasses off. Maybe, Greg, you need to temper your excitement right now. No, 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 no. It's okay to be excited. It's okay. Wow, like I, I never experienced them. We watched we got many drafts. As far as excitement goes, we got to take what we can get. As no, exactly. <laughs> and again, Kevin, you don't win April. I don't want to. I don't want to turn on no. my TV on Monday and have everyone tell us what a great draft because now we have to get on the field and coach them up and do it. But wow, like when ah, I, I again, I'm at a loss for words. You know? Hey, if the if these guys, if if these five guys and whoever we pick up today can transfer their college game to the to the NFL field and, and yeah man i mean ju just think about our running back room with these two young studs think about your boa and rucker now sitting in that classroom learning behind conklin and huzama whether mm -hmm. these boy those two the latter names i mentioned are there for the the full term of their contract or two years whatever these two young tight ends are going to have a wealth of knowledge watching these two other tight ends in Huzama and Conklin do the job right. The future is bright for what is to come, you know? And, and with the addition of Brees Hall, what does that say for our other running backs? Ty Johnson. I, 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 I don't know. I, 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 heard, I heard that the the coaching staff was kind of soured on Johnson last year. Really? Oh yeah. yeah. But I, I thought um they're gonna go with um Tevon like, Coleman as the third. Yeah, the they held him. At, they held Johnson out a few times last year purposely. Wow. They, they benched him. That I, that's some of the stuff I was reading. Now, does Ty Johnson? Do you know? Does he have options? Can he be put on the practice squad? Yeah, I don't know. I you don't know, know. Running backs. It's that's to, you don't want anyone to get hurt, and you want to make sure you have a plethora of them. Just in case, but a plethora, a yeah. plethora. I like that word, plethora. Yeah. 
once in a while, my my brain just, <laughs> you know, I, I don't even I don't even know where it fit into this sentence, right? But whatever. I I'm I and Kevin, again, I know this is a jet podcast, but you know me. I'm on a cloud because I don't watch the Met game last night. I'm only <laughs> scrolling through because I'm so concerned about what we're gonna do and preparing for our show. I have to throw it out there. And I know Jeff fans will probably say, shut up. I'm not a Met fan. But hey, to a combined no hitter, five pitches last night. Amazing. Combined for a no hitter last night. What a great night if you're a Jet and a Mets fan. So to everyone out there who's a Jet and a Mets fan, all right, we have something. We are very proud of where the Jets are going and what the Mets are doing. Anyway, back to football. Man. So, I mean, where do you go today with 111 and 117? Where do you go? If, if he decides to stick with those picks, maybe we get some D-line depth. Maybe we get some O-line depth. That's that's what I'd like to see is some O-line depth. Now, Kevin, I, I texted you earlier in the night and I said, did I miss something? Did the Kobe Dean get off the board and I missed something? Was I not paying attention? And then as soon as I said that, breaking news came on that he mm-hmm. had a pec strain yep. and he refused surgery on it. Yep. And a lot of teams didn't want to take the risk that this guy gets injured one move in practice and he might be done for and this. And that's season. it, right. And I just wonder why, and I don't know what type of strain it was, how deep, usually with a pe- if, if it's a tear, it requires a good six months of no activity. Sure, man. To recoup. I'm just wondering how bad of a strain it was and why he refused surgery. I don't know. I don't know. Because at his position, that's never going to get better without the surgery. No, no, man. I know they're saying strain. I just don't know how deep of a strain. But if it required surgery, it leads me to believe it was a tear and not a strain. And without the surgery. Even if it was a small tear, man. Yeah. You still need to get it fixed. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a violent game. <laughs> no, I know. But you're talking about just, you know, bending over to lift up his shoe if he does, you know, could to make that. Sure. Work. Absolutely. I, I would love to get some more information. And maybe it'll come out in the next couple of days on why he refused the surgery. But, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, I know Who the knows? Eagles picked him up and he might turn into a stud. You know, but I, 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 I just doubt. I just want to know why. Was it because of it was during COVID times? He didn't want to be in a hospital. Blah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just he lost a lot of money for not getting surgery. So because he could have been what a first round. Could have gone. Oh, could've absolutely. Been. You could have gone a lot higher. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, Abs- where, no. He, there's no question. There's no I mean, question. He went to the Eagles in the third round somewhere. I have my notes all scattered here. But, uh, you know, like my nuts. Yeah. Yeah, you see? I don't know if you could see that all up close. My chicken scratch notes. Oh, man, you you look better than mine. Yeah. And, and the oh. other kid, I was very glad the Ravens took a chance on him. Um, uh, 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 How do you pronounce his name? The kid who got hurt in the combine with the Achilles. Uh, Kobo? I forgot how to pronounce his name. The Ravens took him. Was it in round two? Yeah, the kid from Michigan, David Ajobo, who okay. tore his Achilles, I think, during the combine, and the Ravens took a flyer out on him. He's going to get coached up well, and he'll come back next year. He'll probably be a stud. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, Kevin, I know this is short and sweet. I mean, what you gonna need? two and a half hours, we'll be back to – Watching mm-hmm. this crazy draft again. The good news is, is we pick early in round four, 111 and 117. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, unless we trade out. And yeah, just, trade back. I mean, I heard him say he's looking for a 2023. So okay, yeah, yeah. Either more trade down for more picks or future picks. So we'll see what Trader yeah. Joe does. Trader but, Joe. <laughs> wow. I mean, I, I, again, I have no more than what we said. I'm not going to beat a dead horse on this. We got five players who are football players, love the game, want to be here. It's refreshing to see what Joe D is doing. It, 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 it's refreshing to see 
when they go, when they make the pick and they go to the war room, the camaraderie, it seems like everyone, and listen, you see that in all war rooms or they're all, or maybe they're putting on a show, but for the first time you feel like from Woody down, everyone's on this same page. You I think know? The, funny, the funniest thing was from night one with them all screaming sauce. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So, so uh, again, you don't win games in April. No one no. had a Super Bowl trophy in April. But what Joe D has shown over the last two years, you can't be, you can't, you can't not be happy and not be excited. Yeah. Yep. Well, I I guess it's true. Maybe it just took me and you a little while, while longer. We might have to give him a pass on season one because he was thrown into the fire, you know, and if Becton turns out to be the stud, everyone thinks he is. And the punter is pretty good in man. That draft won't look as bad, you know? Mm -hmm. but, and I mean, hey, maybe they know something about Beckton. That's why they didn't go O-line. O I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Or well, they're showing faith in the kid that, you know what? You're our guy. We won. You know, I know we said yeah. yesterday, I said yesterday that there was talks that this coaching staff wasn't keen. They didn't bring him in. But if the boy plays the way we know he could play, just think about it. Just, Let's just dream a little. Like we talked about it yesterday. I know I'm repeating myself. You're talking about Fant, Tomlinson, McGovern, Elijah Vera Tucker, and, and, and Becton. That's the wall we want. That mm -hmm. wall to me, Kevin, is reminiscent of Damian Woody, Fanica, right. Fanica. Yep. Rickishaw. I can't yep. think of the, the other dude's name. You know, that's, you know, that's a wall. Like, that's something you could say. Willie Will, right? Will, Will, Will Cologne. <laughs> yeah, like those boys, you know. You know, like 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 Willie Cologne likes to say, the big boys. The big yeah. boys. This is a big boy line now. And Let's what go. I, what, what I always liked about Cologne was the, the tenacity and the nastiness he played yeah. with. Hey, Kevin. I mean, he was one of those guys where if you if you hit the quarterback late, he was in your face. Yeah, you know what, Kevin? Uh, listen, I, I'm only speaking for from all this area, and then you go. I'm, things are tough everywhere and back there. But Cologne was raised in the Bronx. He's got that street attitude, you know. Even yep. if he wasn't a football player, you know he was going to be big boy. He's a big boy. He was going to see shit growing up in the Bronx that you know mm -hmm. no one should see. And he's going to have that toughness about him. He, mm -hmm. It's just the way, and listen, it's all over. I'm not saying it's just in the new, don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. But he, he, he's lived here. He's no, he's seen yeah. it. I, he's just love, I just love the tenacity. Yeah. 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 And, and, play, play angry. Play yeah. angry. So that's it, Kevin. Tomorrow. We'll today. Come, yeah. So the sun is out. It's beautiful. Jeff hey, happy. I was, I was just out with the, with, the dog there with metal dog and boy it's warming up nicely it's nice it's a great day the sun is shining it's, a, it's, it's good to be a jet fan this it's a good morning. day to be a jet fan yeah it's it's looking good we might be able to actually wear our colors with pride yeah you know, not having to be you know Oh wow, you're a brave guy for wearing your jet shirt yeah Frank, yeah, boy, yeah I wear my jet stuff all year round I'm all, you know kiss my ass Really? Oh, anyway, we'll be back tomorrow to wrap this. Uh, Hell yeah. Up. Let's what see what happens they, today. We have in store for us today. Let uh, us see. Yep. All right, my brother. Yep. Have a great day. You guys have a great day. Enjoy day three of the draft. And uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right. Yeah. All right. A good one. Engine up. <laughs> talk to you later. All right.